On an island like St. John, where you can't go wrong no matter which beach you choose, I managed to come away with some favorites. So here are my current top five beaches on St. John and why they should be a part of any beach lover's itinerary. First up, Maho Bay. The next to last in the lineup of North Shore beaches that comprise one of the most attractive beach hopping opportunities in the world, Maho Bay rocks. With everything Maho has to offer, in many other places this beach would be tops, but that's just a testament to how amazing all the other beaches here are. Even the proximity of the road to the narrow strip of beach might be considered a positive for those who don't like to walk too much. We visited Maho twice and were rewarded with the most accessible and numerous green sea turtle sightings on the island. And it was here I glimpsed one of only two white spotted eagle rays in our nine days on St. John. For those reasons alone, Maho makes my list. Next up at number four, Honeymoon Beach. If you were to rate this beach alone on its merits, like all the others on this list, it's Beach Hall of Fame material. It has everything. Crystal clear water, quality snorkeling, and a huge bonus, live music at Sybil Sorrentino's Bikinis on the Beach Cafe during the summer. Another important thing Honeymoon offers that the others don't, infrastructure. There's plenty of food and activities and equipment for rent here at the beach. And you can even book a fantastic kayak tour from here out to Henley Key at Seville's Virgin Island Eco Tours, whose office is right on the sand. The beach is accessed by a 20 minute walk down the Lynn Point Trail. And this sweet payoff at the end of the hike lands honeymoon on my list. Number three, Jumbie Beach. Next door to the world famous Trunk Bay offers something all others on this list don't. Intimacy. In my nine days on the island during the month of July, I never saw more than five other people on this beach. Usually, it was completely empty. And I don't know why, because everything about Jumbie Beach is perfect. Great sand, clear water, and some of the best snorkeling I found on the island. It also offers a great combination of shallow reef and deep water, and a good chance you'll spot something big. It was here I spotted two sharks and the largest spotted eagle ray I've ever seen up close. Even the slight choppiness of the water on a majority of the times I visited can't keep me from dreaming about Jumbie Beach. Checking in at number two, Hawk's Nest. My traveling partners will differ with me on this one, I'm sure, because they fell in complete love with Hawk's Nest, as did I. And the only reason it's not tops on the list is personal, which I'll get to. Hawk's Nest is the stuff pipe dreams are made of. Soft white sand surrounded by lush green forests, crystal clear aquamarine waters that seem to cleanse the mind and soul, and the topper, the best all-around snorkeling we found on the island. An abundance of healthy, beautiful elkhorn coral, large schools of colorful fish like my favorite blue tang, and all accessed easily from our resting place beneath a tree on the shore. For all these reasons, Hawk's Nest is a can't-miss beach experience. Can I sit here? And number one on my list of St. John beaches, Trunk Bay. This may be the most beautiful beach I've ever seen. Why is it tops on my list? Well, when other teenagers were gazing at posters of supermodels like Christy Brinkley and Elle McPherson, I was gazing at a poster of this beauty, Trunk Bay. I had no idea where it was until I came around the bend and saw it in person. And there Trunk was, like in one of my youthful daydreams beckoning me to come lie on the welcoming sands. And it's not just a pretty beach, Trunk Bay has it all, even an underwater snorkeling trail. In addition to a fair number of stingrays along the shore, there's quality snorkeling here just a short swim through the flat clear waters to the island off the beach. 
where I spotted the largest non-shark fish of my trip. A pair of tarpon that were close to four feet, cruising up and down the rocky shore of the island. It's not difficult for me to put this supermodel of beaches at the top spot on my personal list. It was earned by being even better in person than it was in the poster.